So I'm here at uh, Canada Place in downtown Vancouver and just want to do a quick video with you of the Norwegian Bliss. We are lucky enough to have it in town. It came in last night about 11 p.m. Um, after doing a run up or what we call a repositioning cruise up from uh, California, from L.A. And it is going to be uh, now heading down to Seattle tonight or this afternoon. And then tomorrow, all the passengers will get on board and it will be sailing to Alaska, starting the Alaska runs. So April 6th and usually around that time of year is when the first cruises start to go up to Alaska. Um, they do start earlier in Seattle than they do here. And also the um, ships that they can have from Seattle tend to be on the larger side. They do not have to go underneath the bridge. Um, as I was explaining to another chap who was asking me a bunch of questions, um, the Lionsgate Bridge is the one that it connects downtown through Stanley Park, um, and uh, which is actually North America's largest natural rainforest. So uh, just one more, more thing for you to check out when you're coming up here. Um, and it is, um, you have to pass, well, the, so from Vancouver, downtown Vancouver and Stanley Park, it connects to the North Shore via the Lionsgate Bridge. And the Landscape Bridge has a clearance of 61 meters, and the Norwegian Bliss <laughs> it's a big ship. It has a clearance of, or it has a height on the water of 60 meters. So yeah, three feet clearance. Obviously that therefore it has to go out at low tide. Um, which today is going to be about 11 p.m. So I suspect that's when it'll go. So I'm not sticking around here until then. Um, but uh, it just gives you an idea of how they have to coordinate these things. But consequently, that's why this one does come in every year, comes in once. And then after that, it um, uh, just goes from Seattle because it's just too difficult to coordinate and too, too dangerous, quite frankly. Um, so let's take a look at the ship. Okay, so here you have the ship. I don't have a great view of it. Just down at the end over here, um, you can probably hear a little bit. They're doing some construction. They're replacing the sidewalk area, which is good. It, it's, it was a bit crumpled in some areas and really presented a tripping hazard. So I'm glad that they're getting that done before cruise season um, starts. But it just means I don't have the best angle for you to see. Um, so there are 20 decks on this ship. There are... A, total of 2,043 cabins and it can have a maximum of 4,903 passengers. So when it's completely full and that would be with the maximum occupancy in every single cabin, nearly 5,000 guests. Um, there's a crew of 1,716 as well to take care of everybody. You can sort of see inside some of the cabins. Um, on this ship it is Ah, oh, you know what? I don't even see. I mean, I don't know if those would be considered, if those are, are deck crews or if those are guest crews, guest cabins. I think it's pretty much everything from here and up. And so um, basically everything's a balcony cabin. I mean, they will obviously have some insides and then down at the end they'll have some suites. But um, most of them are, are um, balcony cabins. And one thing, a little neat little trick I'll show you is taking around to this side. Some of these are huge. So if you get a more forward cabin, you can see these ones down here, including those corner ones, and then the ones up at the front have much, much more space. So that's something to consider. Also, you can see at the top, it does jut out a little bit. And then going towards the back, they're all pretty much the same size. So it's going to start the Alaska runs. And then in the summertime, it does uh, Mexican Riviera. So it hits Cabo, Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, and Ensenada. And then it does cross over into the Caribbean for a little bit. So it goes through the Panama Canal and it heads out and does a, a Caribbean run with a couple of Mexican stops as well. So it gets all over. 
So yeah, I just wanted to give you a, a quick little view of the Norwegian place. I was hoping to get on board and do a tour, but um, this is a going to be heading out on a crew only cruise to Seattle, and then tomorrow it's going to pick up passengers. And they'll start the cruise to Alaska, cruises to Alaska. So that'll be quite neat. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future videos. See you on the next one. Bye for now.